Greetings and welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero. And you can see I kind of have the framework for a base down here now. It's a little bit away from where I originally thought I was going to build. And I think I'm probably going to take this section out, at least for now, possibly permanently. Uh, it's not doing very much for my structural integrity. As a matter of fact, it's actually messing up my structural integrity completely. So, yeah, I mean, I could always build on top of these. And then, of course, I'm going to want long sections, too. So I don't really need it. And you can see at the moment, the only power I have is, uh, yeah, one solar panel. So I have 75 of 75 at the top. So I do have an option for that. So let's just do that very quickly because I want the power available. That way I can put things in, right? All right, so we're going over to the ladder, and yeah, I don't know, that's where they keep it. So we're going to put a bioreactor in. It's going to cost three titanium, a wiring kit, yeah, and the silver is kind of hard to get, but I'm working on it, I'm working on it. And of course, a lubricant, always use lubricant. All right, um, is it facing me? I think it is. Okay, I want the panel facing this way, that's what I'm talking about. Boom, okay, and let's put that away. Okay, put that away. All right, you can see we have 75 of 575 at the top, so we need some uh, biological elements. I have just the fish for that. Uh, they'll do for now. I'll find something better. Maybe I'll throw an egg in here. Depends on how many I find. Uh, these are actually cured, so they wouldn't really work very well. All right, it is building up power, so hopefully it'll have a lot of power by the time we get back. All right, in our previous episode, of course, we built the mobile vehicle bay and the sea truck. I'm going to have to retrieve that, actually, and bring it to this area. Probably like over here, nice big open area. That way, when things splash down, they don't crash into anything. But today, I want to do something else. See, I'm working on a base now, so I want as many blueprints as I can get. So I'm thinking, what's the best way to get them? Well, we got a lot from the Delta Outpost, right? So why don't we go to the other one? Because I hear that there is another one. So let's just go there. There's also going to be some story elements there. And that's kind of the reason that I rushed to get Alon in my head. See, in certain places, if you go there, you don't get commentary if he's not in your head. If he is in your head, then he will give you commentary and other things may happen. Now, the easiest way to find this place, by the way, he told me to investigate that. I'll do that probably in the next episode. Uh, but I'm looking for that. Yeah, it's easier to find this place that I'm looking for. Uh, the water is murky today if I do it from there because it's not exactly easy to find it's kind of hidden. Matter of fact, I have no idea how long it was there. I mean, did they add it when they did the reboot? Because, you know, it kind of nullifies some finds. You'll, you'll see what I'm talking about because there's, from what I understand, there's a lot of things there that normally you didn't find until later in the game. All right, so here we go. Now, I believe, see, this is completely empty. I made a whole bunch of... Uh, cabinets in the other place so i emptied this out completely although i think i left one food and one water just in case i'm of an emergency you know all right so i think what i'm looking for is over here it's in the ice all right this is what i mean by it's kind of hidden you really need to know it's here but it's an important story element so Probably you'd be led over here eventually. I might be doing this prematurely. All right, let's see. And then we have uh, these. These will actually fall, I believe, when the when the uh, when there's a whole bunch of shaking going on. Now I think what I'm looking for is over here. All right. Like I said, not easy to find. Right, let's see if I got this right. Okay, I don't... Oh, I did. It's just the weather is terrible, that's all. Okay, so this is going to make this fun. Um, note the sarcasm in my voice. Okay. All right, stand by this and get some heat. 
All right, I appear to have a uh, water issue, so we'll do some of that. Okay, so let's go. Okay, I have to watch my temperature. Okay, we have some uh, plants over here. I can stop to get a little bit of heat, even though I'm standing on ice. All right, you can kind of see where it is I'm going. This is, let's get over here. All right, get up here. I think, yeah, there's a sign, there's a sign. Outpost Zero, and Outpost Zero has got a lot of stuff. Uh, for instance, I don't think I have that. Yes, this is a light stick. It's a little bright. After all, there's a bunch of snow here, right? Okay, and somebody, okay, stop that. Somebody made a snowman. Am I gonna destroy the snowman? No, I'm not gonna destroy the snowman. But is that a rebreather? Can I have that? I didn't make mine yet. All right, let's see. Okay, there's some prawn suits here. I'm wondering if you actually need these. I mean, normally in the under underground, underwater prawn base, there's four of them. So I'm wondering if you actually need to find these now. All right, these are just real arms. They're not utility arms, so there's nothing to scan here. And I am starting to have a temperature issue, so let me get inside. Um, yeah, because I'm starting to freeze. Yep, yep, freezing, freezing. What did Altera okay. use this place for? Okay, let me get a light. So for when I'm not scanning... Here, we're trying to find me. Okay, um... The large room fragment. This is how early you can get this now. So I'm just going to do it right now. Okay, so we got the large room fragment here. All right. Um, I am going to go somewhere first, then we'll be back here. Because uh, I want to do some story elements in uh, order. Okay. Well, you know, since I'm looking at it, I'll grab a bulkhead. All right, and let's open this up. Okay, I think I know that person. Let me just scan that. Because why not? Was this Sam's space? What was she doing all the way out here? Okay. There's a nice picture. Hold it a minute. Potato. You were a good cat. Yeah, the heck with your sister, right? Oh, and actually, I think that was, uh, that was my character, wasn't it? Yeah, that was my character. Uh, is there anything here? Oh, the bed. I want a bed. Give me a bed. And somehow scanning a single bed gives me the double bed, too. Not really sure how that works out, but I think it does. Hold it a minute. Single bed. Basic double bed. Yeah, I'm not really sure how that works out. Ooh. Posters. I'm going to be grabbing posters. As a matter of fact, hold on a moment here. Um, first priority. It's your field. Stand tall. Be singular. Motivational posters were banned from Xenoworks following a lengthy discussion at the annual company retreat three years ago. This poster is technically contraband. I'll take it then. Yeah, the future is a wonderful place, isn't it? All right, let's do this. I don't think I have a choice. I have to neutralize the bacteria myself. I'm a little nervous. Okay, terrified. But this thing is a death sentence. We shouldn't be messing around with it. I'm no biologist, I know. So does everyone else here. I haven't spoken to Danny since we fought about it. Zeta said she'd handle it and then didn't. Lil practically begged me to drop it. This is completely beyond the scope of your work. You have to stop before you jeopardize your standing with the company. I don't want good standing with a transgov that would do this. Robin tried to warn me. Maybe she was right, and Altera really is unfixable. Maybe I deserve better than this. We all do. I've synthesized the antibacterial agent. <laughs> I know my biochem at least well enough to do that much. I've stashed some away in one of the Pengling research caves, southeast of the Leviathan. That was probably the easy part. Now I just have to carry out the plan. Focus, 
Be brave. Worry about what happens next, after the threat is neutralized. They're going to know it was me. If they send me home, what? When they send me home, where the ice isn't 20 feet thick, I can get my Augie bun back. We can cuddle under a nice warm blanket. Things with Robin will thaw out. They always do. Besides, I think she'll respect this. And then, maybe I'll start my own research outfit with an awesome team. I'd love to work on prosthetics again. Help people find peace and ease in their bodies. No more cold, no more spying. Nothing that can be misused. <sighs> All right, now's my time. I've got this. Okay, I've been scanning a bunch of things, of course. Um, but of course, the question is, what were they doing with the, um, yeah, the the disease that she needs to make a uh, a cure or remake the cure? Because this planet was cleansed. I seem to remember that. So they're doing something very nefarious. All right, and of course, I have been scanning things and I've been picking these things up. Um, all right, so I got the indoor grow bed now, but I need something to be able to grow it, right? All right, so let's start picking up some of these. All right, I really only need two. Did I scan? I didn't scan the tree. All right. Okay, the weird thing about this is that if you look at, is it doesn't have, it has like, it loses water. Okay, that's old one. All right, let me pick one from the tree. Hold it a minute, pick one from the tree. Okay. This is a new one. It has no water content. What, why does fruit not have any water content? What it does do though, is that it gives you body heat. So that's kind of an important thing. All right, I'm going to grab those because I might need them outside. All right, so I've been grabbing some stuff here and it is a little bit dark over here. All right, so I scanned the water filtration of course and uh, over here on the wall, I think that's where it used to be, was the uh, power cell charger. Very nice thing indeed. Uh, I grabbed the, um, the other one over here. A lot of these really are not very interesting. That one was kind of important. I'm going to follow it up with this one over here after I grab this picture. Oh, potato. I miss that fluffy little couch walrus. All right. Where is it? Um, where was, I didn't get that one, did I? Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have that one. Yeah, I don't have that one. Oh, don't take the kids to work day. Hey, Sam, you want to say hi to my kids? I told them I'd show them a day in the life of a scientist. <laughs> of course. Hi, Oren. Hi, Svea. Tell us what you're working on. Oh, um, this is a personal project. Looks more like... Lil wanted to know too much about architects. I could not let her. She was, what do you call them, Volterran. What did you think she would do to you? She might have discovered the gateway to our home world. I thought it wiser not to take the chance. Okay, so he interrupted that. It may be me picking something up or something. Um, basically, she uh, got um, Robin to say things that she shouldn't have said in the video about uh, trying to make a cure for the plague and such like that. All right, is there anything? Okay, I can't go in there. I've checked those other doors, right? Oh, oh, the jukebox. Yeah, because that would definitely have interfered with something. I also got the... Uh, the snack machine as well. So yeah, a couple of these things. Oh, you know, I did forget something. Because I looked at it and I forgot to get it, which was the multi-purpose glass roof. All right, so I can put those on the existing ones I have when I have the next layer. All right, and let's get back to light. Let there be light. Okay, is it nighttime outside? It is looking a little bit dark. All right, I don't think I can pick... Is that a... Uh... All right, that looks like a coffee machine, but I think I already scanned one of those at the other base. 
So let's just go through here, make sure I didn't miss anything, because I don't want to miss anything. Oh, and I already have the, um, all right, am I, am I seeing, because you know what it is, I'm not, I'm not holding the scanner, so I have to keep my eye on the bottom thing there to make sure that there is nothing that I am missing, because I don't want to miss anything here, right? I want to scan all the things. By the way, that was the control room, so that's something, okay, what is this? Okay, it looks like garbage. I can't pick up any of these things here for, used to be you could, I don't remember if it was this game, I think you could actually do it in this game, but it's not letting me do that now, so I'm not gonna be doing that now. All right, so let's step outside. All right, let's just take a look around, oh, I can scan that and I can get some stuff from it. All right. I don't think there was anything else that I missed around here. All right, let's just check over there to see if we got something. So this base is actually here for a reason. We'll get to that reason in a moment. And it's more information that you would get. Okay, I don't see anything. I have a lot of that fruit so I can lower my body temperature if I need to. All right, I don't see anything here that I can scan. Anything useful? Nothing? All right. Okay, so let's look down here. All right, let me get to this thing here. Ah, all right, so I'm actually a little bit on the hungry and thirsty side, so let's take care of that. Uh, thirsty and hungry. Okay, so let's go. All right, this is more or less the reason that they built this... Um, facility here. Even though they were looking for the architect they knew who was down below, which was Alan, uh, it seems that this is what they were more interested in. Obviously, because they have a bunch of stuff around here. And this. All right, let me just do a quick scan on this. Not that I think it's going to really matter, but I mean, it is green, right? I mean, if you find yellow snow, you, will, you know what that is. But if it's green, that's interesting. All right, I don't think there's anything over here. Now, here's the thing. I don't believe this would happen unless you had Alan in your head. What am I talking about? Right. Alan, do what is this place? It is architect technology. Standard for my people. Well, nothing that your people do is standard to me. What is it? This facility provides the means for rapid travel. It seems to be inactive. Without a vessel of my own, this site is not of any great utility. I see. In other words, you can't go, only I can go. All right, let's uh, do this again. All right, so I don't believe that this would actually open unless he was in your head, so there is definitely an order to doing things. And if you wonder what the actual uh, rapid transit is, well, if you played the first game, you might recognize that. Yeah, that's a gateway. Now, does that mean this is a gateway back to his world? Is that what he was talking about? I have no idea. Uh, but there doesn't seem to be any way of activating this. I can't even scan it. In the previous game, you could scan it. I mean, I don't see any place to place a cube or anything like that because I believe I am. I picked up a cube inside of the uh, um, Outpost Zero. So, I mean, it's not, you know, like place the cube here or anything like that. So I don't know if there... Maybe you have to activate it from the other side. Maybe that's the way it is. It's just that if you did come from the other side, you know, you're kind of stranded here because you're not going to be swimming back from here. You know what I mean? All right, so let's just head on back. I didn't see anything else over here. So let's just, uh, let's get back to the outpost. All right, so we're back here, and it looks like it's getting foggy again. 
I think I've gotten everything from in there, information and, of course, uh, scannables and some very useful ones. Uh, the, uh, the water filtration system will be very useful, but the thing about it is I don't know if I have enough power to keep that running because that is a real energy hog. All right, uh, this way. Oh, there we go, right there. All right, so that is Outpost Zero. Oh, okay. Outpost Zero is where your sister worked her final days on 4546B. It is quite isolated. Yeah, I know the brightest ideas can flourish in the middle of nowhere, but this is practically off the map. A lot of people would love to get paid to sit around and do nothing. But not Sam. She must have been miserable out here. And they have the nerve to call her negligent. I think they drove her to an extreme. They also motivated me to change my behavior. Because they drove you into hiding? I had calculated that they might be well placed to answer my distress signal. But I came to suspect their motivations were not aligned with mine. So you made yourself harder to find. It was a calculation. Now what he didn't answer was why did he signal when I was in the area? All right, so we have a little bit of time, so maybe we want to check out this artifact. Uh, yeah, those collapsing. Okay, and no, you don't get to bite that. Yeah, so those, uh, those can collapse. I'm guessing they would do a lot of damage, but um, you have to be under them, right? Okay, there's probably some things in there. Is that a, okay, that's quartz, right? Kind of looks like a diamond from here, but there wouldn't be any diamonds. I need to get a diamond, actually, for the modification station. So we're going to have to do a, uh, a uh, gathering of stuff. Okay. Okay. Hello? Anything interesting over here? Okay, obviously I had that already, whatever it is. Flare, not interested. Oh, you! Okay, where is it? Get over here. Get, get over here. Get, I'm gonna kill you. There you go, you're dead now. It's okay, you deserved it. All right, let's see, what do we have? Okay, I'll take some extra water. All right, there's a, a PDA. Is that all there is? Oh, 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 that's probably a beacon, otherwise known as extra titanium. Oh, my inventory is full. Uh, well, let's have a little bit of that water. I should, I'm going to eat one of those. Right, because um, I want materials. Okay, there was another one over here I didn't open. Do I have spot open? Yes, I do. Oh, nutri nutrient bar, very nice. Okay, so we got some free stuff. Okay, is that an egg? All right, I can't pick that up right now. By the way, where's my ship? Did I scan you? Okay, never mind. I'll worry about that later. Okay, so where is the... Where is that? Is it underneath me? I saw it before. Oh, here it is, here it is, here it is. Oh, it's actually fairly close, isn't it? All right, it's actually really close. Okay, I am probably not going to be able to fit through here, so... It's already getting near the point where I'm going to have a problem breathing, though. Okay, turn that off. I just don't like those. All right. Um... Okay, what is this? Warning. Passing 100 meters. Yeah, Oxygen yeah, yeah, yeah. efficiency decreased. Oh, propulsion cannon. Okay. Oh, get that out of my hands. Get that out of my hands. Okay, because it'll steal it. It'll steal it right from me. Okay, I can't go any lower here. Okay, what is that? Oh, but you know what? I can't carry anything. I can carry something. Okay, that's just titanium. Um, okay, that's the way I would go. All right, I think I can manage that a little bit. Hold it a minute. Okay, I do have... What is this? Okay, that's, uh, I think, all... Oh, laser cutter. 
Okay. Oh, and I don't think I've ever scanned the monkey's nest. Okay. Uh, oxygen. There's a place right down here. All right. Yeah, I'm getting myself a little bit lost. Okay, 92 meters deeper. You know, I may want to wait until I have the rebreather because I'm already underneath and I can't take my uh, ship here, which means my oxygen will drain very quickly. All right, so we're going to have to put that off until I have the rebreather. All right, because um, I'm going to have to find the way down. Okay, but we did get a couple of things from the sea monkeys, a couple of pieces, not complete things, but they will be very, very useful in the future when I get the whole thing together. Um, the wrecks will require laser cutters, I believe. And the propulsion gun, well, those actually have uses too. There we go. I was looking for the way home. All right, so I was, uh, of course, at Outpost Zero. Uh, like I said, a little tricky to find. Uh, maybe actually using that first um, location that Alan gave us might actually be a decent way of getting close to it. But, uh, yeah, I want to build some stuff in my base, and then we can go looking for some other things. Uh, we'll go back there, and we'll find whatever it is that he wanted. But like I said, probably going to need the rebreather. And I do have the better high-capacity one. I did make the high-capacity. And I also want to start working on food production, too. It's a shame that that fruit doesn't have water. But then again, I think we saw one on the island that actually does. So I'm going to have to go and get some of that fruit. And uh, yeah, I'll set one of these rooms up as a uh, like a greenhouse. Anyway, I think that that is going to be it for now. Yeah, I'm going to take this section out because it's just kind of a problem. And here's the thing. I can now build the big one. Let me just see about if I can actually place it somewhere. See, this is one way of finding out whether or not you're going to have a problem with something here. Uh, where is it? There it is right there. See, I don't have the pieces for it yet. I'd need to find lithium. But, okay. Oh, I really wish they'd let you pull back when you're doing this. I am um, just want to see... Okay. Okay, it, right there, it's attached. Wait a minute. Okay, see right there? It's attached right there. So I would be able to place it there. I don't know what the, um, I have to have lithium, though, for the, uh, the reinforcements. Okay, hold it. Break out of that. But I can make one. So, but uh, like I said, lithium, because I believe you have to use plasteel for that. Actually, I'm just going to go in here. Boom. Welcome aboard, Captain. And the power is full. How many of our little friends did we eat up? Okay, we ate half of them. So I'm going to have to work something out. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make something that I never made before. But as I understand, it's actually quite useful. Here, hold it a second. Let me just uh, put one of you. I can't put one of you in there. Um, here, you take those for a moment. I think that I need, where is it? A battery and copper and something else. Let's just, oh, actually, it would be over here, wouldn't it? Let's see. It would be a deployable. Yeah, I can make it. The grav trap. I never used one of these before, but as I understand it, they're quite useful. So let's just uh, put this down. All right. And let's see. Boom. Ah, quite useful indeed. I'll take you. I'll take you. Get, me, get over here. Get over here. You cannot escape. Okay, very, very useful. Very useful indeed. So, never used one of those before, but uh, yeah, they are quite useful, aren't they? So, I can just go right outside my door and it's holding all kinds of good fish for me. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. So next time what we'll do is we'll check on that and then we'll do some other stuff. Maybe we'll do some work on the base first. You know, I'm going to gather some more materials and maybe we can go looking for some rare ones. Anyway, thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games because games are fun. See ya!